charged with murder. A Fort Worth police officer who shot and killed a woman in her own home is in jail tonight. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Show me. Police say Aaron Dean killed a Tatiana Jefferson after shooting through her window Saturday morning. Jefferson's neighbor called police because her door had been opened. Dean resigned from the department this morning before he could be fired. Off the streets, the second suspect in a shooting injuring four students near Clark Atlanta University is now in custody. Ahmad Coleman was arrested Thursday in Mississippi. Coleman is accused of exchanging gunfire with Isaiah Williams at a block party in August. He was out on bond when that shooting happened. It is unfortunate that he was out, but again, we're so glad that we got him in custody for this violent act. Atlanta police say Coleman used a semi-automatic gun to shoot up an apartment complex on Fulton Street back in March. A Fulton County judge released him on bond a month before the block party shooting. Wildfire investigation. Authorities have traced where a destructive fire started in Southern California. They say it broke out near LA under a transmission tower. The Saddle Ridge fire has scored nearly 8,000 acres. 75 buildings have been damaged or destroyed. Investigators are still trying to determine what started the destructive blaze. Toppling disaster, crews worry two cranes near a collapsed hotel in New Orleans could crash down as storms move in. The city expanded the evacuation zone in the area because of the threat. Part of the Hard Rock Hotel collapsed Saturday, killing two workers. One person is still missing.